Today, we're going to show you how to use a pulley remover, which you can buy a kit, relatively inexpensive. I'll put a link down below if I can find one of these relatively inexpensive online. But basically, we're going to use that kit to remove this pulley from a power steering pump from a 2001 Ford pickup truck. So basically, the way this works is there is a couple of different pieces and parts in here. It's designed to be used for various vehicles of different designs, natures, and whatnot. But what you're going to do is you're going to take these little clamps here, and you can see it's even, even this is set up different sizes on each side. So one side kind of has a larger ring and the other side has a smaller ring. And this is a Ford, so we'll use the smaller side. So smaller side to hold down. But the way this works is it just kind of clasps the side of this ring. Okay. And then there's another ring that goes on the outside that holds all of these together. But before you put that on, you have to put on the other tool. But I just want to show you how this works. Basically, there's another tool that grabs the top part of the ring, and then you shove a bolt down through the center, and that pulls the pulley off. So it's pretty simple. So I'm going to try to assemble this one-handed, which is always a difficult, but somebody needs to hold a camera. You basically clamshell this together like that. Take the ring. Drop it right down on top. And now you've kind of locked everything together. And then there's a, another piece of the puzzle here. Basically, this is a bolt. And it has a, a threaded bottom for other attachments, but in this particular case, we don't need it. We're just going to screw this in here like this. Then once you get everything back together and tightened up a little bit, it'll firm up. And I like to use some large tools on this because it does take a little bit of effort. So I use a larger wrench, and I like to, to put it so it's angled up like this. There's a reason for that. And I usually take a nice heavy-duty ratchet, and I put it on top. And then what that does is that allows you to take your, your hands and squeeze them together to back this off. And it does take, you know, quite a bit of pressure. It's, it's not something that's going to pop off pretty easy. But just keep ratcheting down, and eventually it'll come off. And then basically, you just take two hands or one hand, and you basically tighten it up. And as you tighten it up, it's going to take a lot of effort, but it's going to make some popping noises. And eventually it'll just come right off. So installing the pulleys is just as easy. The same kit typically installs them. You just put your pulley back on the shaft like so. And I try to press it on about as far as I can get it down with my hand. And then the way the kit works is there's a, a piece that you screw down inside, which I'll show you right here. You put this down inside and you screw it down like that. That grabs the inside of that shaft. And then there is a thrust washer that sits on top like that. There is a bearing set that sits on top of that. And then you just screw your apparatus back down in there like this. And that shaft that you screwed down in there earlier is threaded, so this screws on top of that. And then you tighten this down. Use your same tools, tighten it up, and that'll press it back on. And then you gotta remember, it's gonna go on the exact opposite way that it came off. So your tools are reversed, so you're basically going counterclockwise to tighten it, and uh, when you take it off, you're actually going clockwise to take it off. So it's a little bit backwards, but not a big deal once you know. As to how tight or to know you're there, everything will eventually tighten up, and then it'll actually start extracting itself. It's a pretty neat tool. Once you get to that point, you spin things off with your hand. And there you go. It's on. It's nice and tight. It's not going to come off until the next time we need to remove it. So these are those little kits that everybody kind of needs, but you don't use them all the time. But when you really do need one, they sure do make life simpler. So I'm going to try to see if I can find a good deal on this kit or a similar kit. I'll put it in a link down below in the description. And uh, if you like these do-it-yourself type of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. You might find something you yourself might like to build, or maybe you have something that you need to fix similar to what I've been fixing.